Hi everyone, it's really good to have you here with me today. Today I'm going to be making some mango butter hearts. This time of the year it's cold, it's dry. Um, there are a lot of different products that are available, even ones that I make, uh, other products that are great for this kind of weather. And I'm always looking for solutions that are more portable. But then I got to thinking about the season that's upon us, and that is Valentine's Day. And I thought, wow, why not create something specific to that? And so therein lies these, this is the mango butter before you <laughs> and the product I'm going to be creating which are basically going to be little body butter hearts. Something that you can use. You could use the whole thing at once. They're small. It kind of is in the line with my divinity spheres, although those are meant for multiple uses. These are going to be small. You could use them more than once, but I know that I can use a whole one all by myself. But anyway, Let's go forward. Let me show you what I'm doing here. And maybe this will give you some ideas as well on products, maybe if you're a maker that you could create. So I'm just starting with Grado Mango Butter. This is beautifully unrefined, smells so good. I love mango butter. And I'm just breaking it up into smaller pieces and dropping it in my beaker here which we're then going to get on the double boiler that I have heating up over here now. And I just love this stuff. It is very similar to other types of butters, but a bit softer. It's harder than shea butter, and it's softer than cocoa butter, <laughs> at least in its hardness at room temperature. But one of the great things about mango butter that I really like about it is that it soaks into the skin very quickly, very similar to the way tallow does. And it doesn't leave you feeling greasy afterwards. And that's why I prefer it in something like a body butter or a body butter bar, that kind of thing, because it is non-greasy. You could, of course, add to it, which we are going to be adding a little bit of rose clay mm -hmm. that's rose kale and clay just gonna add a tad just to add that little bit of valentine's pink <laughs> color to it but it really is something that i enjoy making i thought why not make this one just pure there's there are no hardeners there are no other butters these are just mango butter hearts looks like i've got about enough there the water is now boiling, but I'm actually going to set the beaker in there and then turn the heat off. One thing I forgot to show you all, let me move this over here, move the mango butter out of the way. One little trick that I'll share with you. Do you see how, even though the water's not boiling, when you set this on there, it appears to boil and boil over? And that's because of the air that gets trapped underneath the container. So if I just drop this little cloth down in there, like so, that keeps it from rattling. Isn't that great? All right, so we're now completely melted. So I'm just gonna add ever so a little bit of kale and clay. This is just rose kale and clay. I just want to tint it ever so slightly. I think that's about right because this will lighten substantially once it hardens. All right. 
So I'm, now I'm just going to pour them in these little molds. These are these are silicone resin molds. What does that mean? They're for people that make resin jewelry or home decor items. This is what they use, but these are made out of a food grade silicone. So they're safe. Oop, a little more there. There we go. They're safe for your body. You could eat them. I don't know why you'd want to, but I don't think mango butter tastes all that good. I like it. Cocoa butter is delicious, obviously. Chocolate, right? <laughs> But mango butter, not quite. It does have a bit of a fruitiness, though. And what's nice, that little bit of kale and clay add a little bit of slip. Mango already absorbs really well and I think feels great on the skin. This will just add that additional bit of silkiness. And there we go. Our mango hearts. I'm going to sit these in the fridge and then we'll come back and take them out of the mold. All right, so they should, yep, <laughs> pop right out. Aren't those cute? <laughs> Aren't those just terrific? Oh yes, I'm very pleased. I don't I want to try not to touch them, so I'm going to get something actually to pick them up with because I don't want to melt them. Oh, those are great. That's just what I was hoping for. Terrific. I'm going to kind of chopstick them. <laughs> and I've got these little heart-shaped tins. Isn't that great? Oh, that one's a little slippery. All right. There, so I think maybe five. I was hoping I could get five in, and I think I can. Oh, look. You know what? I think five's going to be too tight, so it's going to be four. There we go. I get these little heart boxes. Aren't those great? And these Well, if I can get it it's because I've got it facing away from me and I got mango butter on my fingers. But there's the box for them. I've just stamped them with a little heart stamp on top there. And there's the label that I made up for them. Also heart shaped. I kind of went nuts with the hearts, right? <laughs> and uh, I haven't come up with a, I, you know what, one second here. Just to keep them, oop, <laughs> threw cardboard all over, don't want to do that. But basically, here, I just want to kind of tuck them in a little. You could use a colored, a colored crinkle paper, do the same sort of thing, but you get the idea. 
And that way it just keeps them from rattling around inside the box a bit. And there you have it. Mango hearts. Let's try one, shall we? Let me get one on the outer edge here. Take my ring off. Isn't that nice? Oh, that's so nice. So it kind of just dissolves in your hand. I mean, I'm not having to do very much because it is liquid at room temp at body temperature, excuse me. Here, I'll just leave this over here. How lovely. That's really, really nice. I love mango butter so very much. <laughs> now you could do this with shea butter, you could do this with kokum butter, you could do this with go uh, any of the natural butters, or you could make up your own. Like you can take olive oil and shea butter, and you can mix it with uh, kokum butter. You can make up your own whatever you like, your own recipes. But I just thought these would be a lot of fun. They were, they are. And I'm gonna stick these in the shop just for Valentine's, now through Valentine's Day, and I'll come up with some kind of a price. I mean, it's not very costly. Most of the cost is in the boxes and the tin and the labels and, you know, the, but the little bit of cocoa butter in these, or mango butter, excuse me, isn't a whole lot, so. I think I can make these very reasonable. So by the time you see this video, these will already be in the shop. So I hope you enjoyed the making of Mango Love Body Butter Bars. All right, have a great day everyone and I'll see you back soon. Goodbye. Goodbye.